All right, Monty, let's review our racing plan for a week from today, uh, next Friday at Conant. Okay? Conant's our last opportunity to uh, practice headed into conference and sectionals. When we go into conference and sectionals, we want to be fully confident in what we're doing when that race gun goes off. So this is kind of our last chance to play around with things. Um, you've been running great. Uh, you've been running uh, some of the most intelligent and strategic races I've seen you run since uh, you were a freshman. Um, so what we want to practice and focus on one last time is being a little bit more aggressive on your first lap. Okay, Whether you like it or not, the first lap at sectionals is going to be fast. And so I'm telling you, you're physically ready. I just want to make sure that you are mentally ready for that first lap. Okay, Now, we still need to run intelligently, uh, but we need to make a conscious effort to run aggressively on that first lap. Okay, so our goal for lap one at Conant is somewhere like 59 to 60 seconds. And then for lap two, somewhere like 61 to 62 seconds. Again, I want you to get out fast, but not too fast where um, you have a more than three second differential on your splits. I want to keep that still narrow, three or less is our goal. Uh, so goal finishing time, two to 202 would be outstanding. Let's take a look more specifically. Okay. So here's our track. Now the first thing, remember, that uh, we've talked about and that we did the other day in training. I set up cones about every 50 meters or so on the track. Even though come sectionals, conference, and at Conant, there's not going to be cones there, I want you to visually picture as if there were. Chunk the race into parts and focus on just getting to the next 50 meters, to the next 50 meters, to the next 50, 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 the next 50. By doing that, you're mentally getting yourself, um, uh, you're giving yourself more of a chance to run with better form, better efficiency, and it, the race is less scary because you're chunking it into smaller parts. And it's going to feel like it's going to go by much quicker when you do that. So remember that. Now, lap number one is green. Our goal of the first lap is to get out fast. Okay, if I was to chart each of your 200 meters, your first 200 meters should be your fastest one. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be substantially quicker. I'm talking like a half a second or so, all right? But we want to get out aggressively. That being said, I don't want you leading the pack, okay? I want you to position yourself kind of right in the upper middle or the upper third. Um, we don't want to get boxed in or tripped. If you get boxed in or tripped, what's going to happen is at some point later on during the race, you're going to have to exhaust extra energy to make up that lost ground. And we don't want to do that because if everybody's of equal ability and you're the one that has to exhaust extra energy, you're going to have less energy left at the end of the race. So run wide with big arms. Get big, get strong. Okay? Now, lap, or, uh, 200 meter number two. Uh, this is our yellow. Okay, nothing special on uh, 200 to 400 meters. All we're doing here is maintaining pace. Okay, we're carrying our pace that we had the first 200 meters, and we're just maintaining it here to finish off that first 400 meter lap. And hopefully when we finish, we're somewhere around 58, 59, 60 seconds. We're not making any moves from 200 to 400 meters. Okay, so remember in the 800 meter, we only have one bullet. We need to use it wisely, and it's not at this point during the race. Okay, now you've heard me say it before, and I'm going to say it again. If you're going to PR in the 800 meters, you have to do it by focusing on the 400 to the 600 meter mark. This is the section where most runners get lazy. They cross that point and they tell themselves, okay, I'm halfway home, I can settle in. Well, when they settle in, they get slower, and that's what kills their time. So a lot of people call this uh, part of the race punching. Um, they just use that term to get runners to think that we want you to run through the finish line and punch through it with reckless abandon so that you um, uh, maintain and, and continue carrying that pace from 400 to 600 meters. Okay, this part demands every ounce of your mental focus. Um, as you cross that 400 meter mark, I should see a noticeable physical difference in your rhythm uh, somewhere in that exchange zone. Um, so somewhere in this exchange zone from about 400 to 425 here, I should see a noticeable difference in your form physically. Okay, you have to make a conscious effort to run through this finish line and focus on this point here. Again, it's going to make or break you. Now, we got 200 meters left to go. This is where we want to use that bullet. We've been saving that bullet. And this is the point where you're smart, Mati. This is the point where you choose where you want to 
use that bullet. Maybe you want to make a conscious effort as you approach 200 meters to, to make a pace change. Maybe you want to wait to somewhere in here. Maybe you want to wait here. That's going to depend on how you feel physically, and it's also going to depend on where you're at position-wise. Um, but you got one bullet, and you're going to use it somewhere in this last stretch. Now, with 100 meters to go, what I'd like you to do is to pick something completely off in the distance past the finish line and just pick your eye on it and you're not making any looks to the left or the right you're simply looking straight ahead at whatever it is you fixed your eyes on and you're just running with exaggerated arm drive powerful knee drive on your toes as fast as you can through that finishing line if you recall two years ago my 4x8 misqualifying by a half a second and that very well could have been because either the finisher or during the exchange zone guys didn't run through the zone you have to run as if the finish line is somewhere in here. I don't care if you've got to take somebody out past the finish line. You're running all the way through the finish line because we want that half second to be on our favor. We want it to be like 157.5 instead of 158 flat. Run through the finish line. And if we can do these things, you know, I can't promise where you're going to finish up, but I can promise that you're going to position yourself and you're going to give yourself a chance to be successful and make it down. And ultimately, that's all we want to do is to give ourselves a chance. And at the end of the day, if we can do that, then uh, regardless of the outcome, if it's not what we want, we can at least hang our head and say that, you know, we, we, we ran smart, we did what we can, um, we can be proud of what we did, and then we come back next year and uh, we look to win the race, not just qualify. Okay?